Christ in you, the hope of glory. Just say that with me. I just want to get that rolling on our lips tonight. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. Would you just say it with me? Christ in you, the hope of glory. Just think about it. Jesus Christ inside of you, transforming you from the inside out. The good news is that it's better than that. It's kind of a double whammy tonight because Colossians says it's not just Christ in me, but it also says that I'm in Christ. That's kind of a double dip. So I'm in him, but Paul also says that he's in me. I mean, look at a couple of these verses. I mean, even if you begin with the first part of the, part of the, the letter, the little, second little thing that's just kind of free stuff, it says, to the holy and faithful brothers, this is verse 2 of Colossians, to the holy and faithful brothers, and there are these key little words, in Christ at Colossae. And so in other words, Paul's saying, yeah, it's Christ in you, the hope of glory, but hey, I'm running to the faithful and holy brothers at Colossae who are in Christ. So somehow God has put us inside of Jesus and put Jesus inside of us. I think that's a pretty happening deal right there. I mean, you got Jesus coming from the inside. You got Jesus covering you from the outside. That's a definite step forward in our lives. That's better than an external modification to me or you that's going to last maybe a week or a month or at least if we're lucky as long as we live.